billion. No, I, maybe I didn't explain myself well. Please, please the 700, if you, if you had money today, a uh, full amount of money, and you did the roads to completion, you would need 700 billion to go. complete it. Yeah, if, to complete it within the completion, maybe three years or so. Okay. The worth of the total contract is 700 billion. Okay. That includes the, the contracts themselves and also includes the payment for um, what you call land acquisition right. so that you can access. But the ones that the contractor has already worked and gave certificates, which is now uh, famously known as the pending bills, is the 150. So where, where, where someone is already submitting a certificate to, to the roads agency and waiting to be paid. So work's done yes. to various stages of yes, completion. Yes, absolutely. Right? It's about, it was 150 at that point. 150 billion yes, shillings. Yes. Covering how many kilometers? Uh, the, 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 uh, for, for work they've already done from uh, the, the 150, it was 10, you remember it was 10,000. Uh, kilometer road network. Yep. Some were completed. So maybe for the work done, maybe two, three thousand kilometers. Okay. Or there about. I, I actually wonder why I didn't pick the statistics for that, for the only the work done. Okay. Because some of it, eh, mm. th this is the interesting part, some of it is that the contractor has completely conf finished the road and mm. handed over, but they've not been paid. They're still being hold. Uh, a colossal amount of money. So it is in various stages, uh, and I think we can work out those statistics as okay. how many kilometers are complete and, and not paid, or to what percentage has been paid of the complete road. That's a statistic we can work out. Is there an explanation why they had not been paid? Uh, uh, that is? Why they had not been uh, paid? Explanation? Yeah. No budget. What happened, we were, when we came to office in 2013, let me now. Where my let's other start, shit. Let's uh, start uh, from yes, Jubilee yes, administration. Exactly. Yes. When the Jubilee administration came to office, they established an ambitious program called Road 10,000, mm. which was to tarmac mm. roads across the country, 10,000 kilometers. Uh, various uh, programs were put in place. One of them was uh, called Low Volume Seal Road Program, which yeah. whose objective was to construct roads of uh, less volume uh, in terms of sealing on top of it, uh, because they are in rural areas with low traffic. Mm -hmm. It was expected that these roads, therefore, later, would be given maintenance money that will make sure that the roads have been maintained. Uh, that's another problem we can discuss later. Those roads have not been main maintained, and they, have, uh, they, they are now destroyed. In yeah. fact, going back to almost zero, yet the contract itself has not ended, or the contract has not been paid. In this ambitious program, the, that time we were accessing fairly reasonable uh, financing for major projects from our development partners. We did that access to certain level and then suddenly in around 2016, 2017, the, 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 it froze. The, the, it, it froze. It all dried up. So money now Because moved. we became a middle income. <laughs> yes, exactly. So now money had to move to other important sectors. And of course, they're always competing interests of the country. Mm. When that happened, the appetite for Completing the roads was still there. The demand now, Kenyans are, were now seeing that the importance of having a tarmac road. So you are, your neighbors are road, the next place is there. Yeah. There is an election that was coming in 2017. Of course, uh, political players and the government at that point, now you commit even further. You commit even further. Yep. And then you, all the time you commit, remember the procurement law says, do not procure for uh, uh, for um, a project that, a does, project not that does not have funding. Project, no. But then you succeed in getting the seed money for all these projects in parliament for one year, the beginning, and then the subsequent year, no follow-up to put more money to continue. So you keep starting a new project with seed money and continue. Start a new project with stalls. seed money, stalls, but because you have a political interest today, it has changed, you have gone to another corner, they have asked for a road, you start another one there, and it stalls. That was actually part of the mismanagement that has led to this number so of, this of kilometers. So this is all deceit that started in 2013. Well, let me say... With the Jubilee administration. No, I will not say... And the appetite for showing that you're doing a lot. And the demand also from the public. There's a demand from the, and the expectation from yes, the public. But the lack of courage to and say no, it's not possible. of not saying that yeah. this is what we can do. Yeah. But also using that as well yeah. as, you know, we are doing 10,000 kilometers of yeah. road and yeah. doing, we are doing all these infrastructure projects yeah. Yeah. to justify why you're going to the market to borrow money. 
Well, uh, yes, uh, if you Politically are, speaking. Yes, uh, no, that's, that's a point. This is what was happening. Absolutely. The justification no, 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 not for... Just, uh, not, and, and by the way, I don't want to impute improv, improper motive uh, on those who are leading the country then at the critical sector of the executive and the ministry and so forth. They could act, have actually believed that the economy will be better tomorrow, it will continue growing at the rate that was growing, and they could have believed that the revenues that we raise next year will continue sorting out the infrastructure. Uh, so there is, no, okay. there is no saying, no, I'm just saying, I cannot say for certain you cannot, that, I okay. cannot say for certain you that, cannot. I cannot say for certain yeah. that somebody sat somewhere and said, let's deceive these people and cross You cross were the in rubric. parliament. Yes. All right. Yes. yes, you were not in the National Assembly, you yes. were not assigning yes. budgets, yeah. but you were in parliament and yeah. you're seeing the budget yeah. and you're seeing the revenues and all the reports from KRA, from the yeah. Auditor General, yeah. from the control of budget. Mm. You could see that clearly this whatever dream they have yeah. at uh, Transcom, yes. this does not go with the dream. <laughs> I actually believed that we were going to achieve it. You believed as I well? I believed as well. That, that you could start possible, this project that it was with possible. the seed money no, and you'd be able to raise then, money. Because it's very wrong to run away from responsibility. I believed then, as part of the leadership of uh, Jubilee at that time, as a, as a senator for Jubilee, and holding also you know, some positions of leadership within Jubilee in the Senate, that we were actually on course to achieving this objective. And I think that had we become, I suspect that had we uh, stuck only to 10,000 kilometers without also putting other mega projects on top of it, perhaps we were going to be able to complete it. Um, Let me ask the question. Please yeah. ask. I'll come back with, with yeah. that other part of the question. One of the things that one understands about governments mm -hmm. is that they plan. Absolutely. They project. Yes. Then they budget. Mm -hmm. Now, all these things are rigorous exercises that do not take a day. Mm -hmm. And the planning for a 10,000 kilometer road cannot be a year's project, two years, five, mm -hmm. you're planning to the future. Mm -hmm. Now, it cannot be then that as you're planning for the road, which is part of infrastructure, what you're supposed to do that you had not, as you correctly put it, foreseen that the economy would grow. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's this little matter. Of the monies that we spent on our road, we just talk about roads here, infrastructure, that yes, particular time. Yeah, yeah. Is that money commensurate from the Jubilee government with the roads that were actually built and the extent to which they were completed? I believe that, uh, yes, largely, yes. Um, if you look at the largely, that's what I'm saying, largely, uh, because, you know, these roads are also audited. Yeah, They are audited by the Auditor General. And uh, annually, we get reports. They, they are not just audited by Auditor General, but they are also resident engineers and, and the responsibility of the agencies to ensure that it's built to the standard. But you will find also some others which are not. And in those cases, we have cases with the contractor. We don't want to pay them because we have a case with them. And of course, you may never, uh, in the fullness of time, you may establish that one or two also roads uh, uh, had uh, we paid more than the value of the infrastructure that came in. But at the moment, I don't have one in mind where I can say, we paid this man to the full, but the work was shoddy. Um, one road, I don't want to mention which one for now, because we solved the problem. The contractor, when we arrived at the office, had said he has finished the work. Okay? But the resident engineer, a, a gentleman I really, uh, I have uh, commended him publicly in the past, uh, stood his, his ground and said that this contractor cannot be paid because this road is not done to the standards that is required. And uh, when we came b back to office and looked at it, we told the contractor to redo the entire 200 kilometers of, of the road and, it, and, it, and it's ongoing. So there are cases like those ones where quality is required, but it requires vigilance on the part of those who oversight this uh, responsibility, but also those of us who manage uh, from the agencies that are within the ministry. You see, what I'm talking about... Yeah something perhaps a little more technical and a little more easy to define. Now, you're a lawyer by training, yeah. but you have people who crunch these numbers. Yes. We know the roads that were supposed to be built by name. Yes. By distance. Yes. And even by type. Yeah. This sort of road was supposed to put this sort of tarmac, this sort of aggregate, whatever it is. Yeah. My question was, we know the sum total that we've spent so far. Is this much? Roads. Yes. Precisely. Yes. And my question was, when you look at what a road or the roads and the nature of the roads and what they should cost. Yeah. I'm asking the question, did we get value for money? For the is, that, we I, spent I think I answered that question, that since it is not 
it is many roads, you know, many contracts. Mm. You get largely that we got value for money or uh, we are getting value for money. Where we don't get value for money, there are two ways of auditing that. Internally, by the management itself, resident engineer, the, the director generals and the ministry itself. And also we have government delivery units also here that is tracking uh, what the government is delivering and so forth. But from an oversight uh, side, you also have parliament and you have the auditor general. The auditor general does the audit, parliament uh, interrogates these audits and can be able to tell us what's the value for money achieved. And as I said, admittedly, in most of the cases we have it, but a few cases where I can point out where you do not have value for money. We, in that case, we have interventions that come in as a result of the oversight responsibilities. But there are cases where if both of us now fail to do so, we also have uh, 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 um, the public. Who has the largest responsibility for oversight? The, the largest responsibility of oversight is parliament. It's uh -huh. constitutional. Mm -hmm. If yeah. it's parliament, yeah. then what you say cannot possibly be true. Because if there's one thing this parliament has shown repeatedly, yeah. the oversight role the, was abrogated a very long time ago. By the way, let me tell you something. Um, when people see parliament and parliamentarians sitting with the, the president and having PG meetings and passing policies of government, finance, <coughs> <and> that, <coughs> They, they are under this very misguided inter, uh, um, uh, impression that they are soft. The hardest place for me to appear is parliament. I'm going to parliament after here. It usually is the most difficult place and the best place for accountability. Hmm. I, can tell, I can say that again and again. Um, the, the, the public, the open public conversation about performance of every other project uh, puts each one of us on notice to make sure that we do what we need to do. And Parliament does just not function as a, as a whole chamber. You have the, account, uh, the, the Public Accounts Committee and the Public Investment Committee in the National Assembly. You have County Public Accounts Committee in the Senate, among others. It is during these committee sessions that we are taken to task. Kenya also, uh, the parliamentarians also know that if they were going to let certain questions slip, the member of public, the, 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 the auditor general, among others. And remember that parliament doesn't just oversight. The oversight uh, using recite information from the auditor general. So usually the accounts meetings are actually based on the reports tabled by the auditor general. And the auditor general tables reports in every department of government. Maybe, maybe I just enter here to say something about why the president say that we need to audit our public debt. Most of the borrowing that was done was to certain uh, infrastructure and, 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 uh, and to a good extent, by the way, speaks to your question. You know, there is a general feeling in the public that, and it was there even when we campaigned, there was a general feeling that there is exaggerated prices of infrastructure projects. And these exaggerated prices are accompanied by, I mean, major borrowing. So that then the debt, and, and Eric had mentioned earlier when he alluded to the trillions of money that we are supposed to pay in debt based on borrowing on infrastructure, uh, you, exactly your question. Kenyans want a confirmation, a confirmation that the public debt register co is, is, uh, is, uh, corresponds uh, to the um, Project on the projects ground. on the ground. Yeah. And I, I had this, uh, when, when, when um, our president, as a member now of the Law Society of Kenya, when our president rejected to participate in that uh, uh, session, force. I just thought she, was, she, she should have taken us a little more time. This is something which if the public understand, it is not audit for the audit. It's not that audit of Auditor General's report. There are Auditor General reports every year. But those Auditor General reports still has even more questions being asked by the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya at this point in time are, are saying, can we for once now, transparently, very few Kenyans even know the Auditor General report on the debt last year or the other year, but can we in an open and transparent manner do one off, one off audit that doesn't take away the Auditor General's uh, responsibility, but can we do one off audit of where we are at the moment on our debt 
and look at the projects, corresponding projects. You may not go to a project, you may not bother, even that committee may not uh, bother to ask a project borrowed for, te for 10 million, for 100 million. We may as well even have a category and, and tell ourselves, if you've borrowed for 5, 10 billion, some of them 50, 100, you've borrowed for major infrastructure, can we just find out whether the auditing of that infrastructure, the value of that infrastructure corresponds with the the, 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 the debt that we have. And I think I, I still want to implore my president of the LSK to reconsider our position and, and they should give us the benefit to do it openly and publicly the, where we are as a country at the moment without fear or favor. Probably, probably that conversation should just be extended into how else would they propose? How else um, would this audit happen? But then just going I think back the word into that. Audit, the, word, the, word, the use of the word audit which is an English word, yep. was, uh, should have been, uh, now speaking to my president as a lawyer, should have been interpreted as the constitution says, purposively. Purposively in the sense that to capture the objective of the moment. Okay. Yeah. The question is, do you feel that with the kind of uh, infrastructure portfolio that you inherited, the kind of work that's been done, what is pending as pending bills to contractors at various stages of completion of road projects? And then looking at the other infrastructure projects, do you feel that what we are paying as debt is actually commensurate with what has been done? I would not want to bring my feelings to this subject because it, is, it, is, it, it has to be factual. Tomorrow, tomorrow, if I put my feelings on uh, to this, because it's not just... Tomorrow I'll be held to account for the same. You will call me again next year and say your feelings were wrong. I really think, and I, 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 I so will, let me, let will me, not do respect. Let me rephrase it the will, question. It will require a, 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 a proper audit for me to, to, make, to, to form an opinion. Let me rephrase the question. Yeah, yeah. In the last nine years, yeah. has the Ministry of Transport ever gotten sufficient funding to do the project that it was doing in any financial year? No. The ministry, especially the Department of the Roads, it has never got amount of money commensurate to their projects that have been... Not, not, if you say projects it wants to do, yeah. of course a country has a million okay. things they want to do. But if you say for the projects that has committed itself yes. to do, mm. we have been unable to meet that for the last nine so years. So year on year... There's what it's is committed deficit, yes. on the ground. Yes. There's what is requested for yeah. in, the, in budget. Yeah. There's what's allocated in the budget. And, there's and what then is there's disbursed. what is then disbursed. Yes. And every year you've been running on a shortfall. Absolutely. Which means that you're compounding Absolutely. the shortfall going into the next year. Yes. Into the next year. Yes. Into the next year. Yes. Is this prudent uh, management? The, the, I, think, I think we dropped the ball somewhere. Yeah. How far back? Maybe those even those nine years, yeah. We should have just uh, moved. If we had moved progressively, Kenyans would have understood, yeah. But once we moved rapidly, they believed that we have the resources to, and we committed ourselves across the country. They believed we have the resources to do so. That is why. So is it if prudent you look now? At the manifesto, is it prudent now to continue doing road projects? when you are looking at raising 70 billion shillings yeah. in a budget yeah. and you end up only getting 26 20. billion shillings. Uh, Is it prudent? Uh, I'm coming to that. So if, that's why the manifesto of uh, Kenya Kwanzaa in black and white says that we shall not commit new projects. We will only do projects that have, uh, we will only work towards completing the existing projects. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Eric, we are between the rock and a hard place. Yeah? We are at a cliff. Yeah, literally. And the point is it's, this. It's either we jump or we stay here. Yeah, this is the point. You cancel the contracts. If you were to say, okay, we are unable to pay it, we want to cancel. You pay, you can easily pay half of the, of the, of the 700 billion to a contractor. By the way, the 700 billion, because of the two financial years, has now come to about 650. Yeah? So you, you, you pay the contractor uh, that money, yeah? and for doing nothing you are now in a uh, dumb if you do dumb if you don't so you rather do it anyway because 
you have already made a commitment. Cancelling it, you first lose the 165 billion. You it becomes a debt that must be paid, and then now you start having conflict around it. So you might pay about two, three hundred billion without a road. So the the wisest thing to do at the moment is to pause as we agreed in the uh, UD, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, and that has 